Hi everyone, this is Nafish. In today's lecture, we are going to go over on some of the very basics of smart sheets. Um, so basically today we are going to learn how can we create sheets, okay? And I'm going to go over uh, three different ways, okay? Uh, first one um, is uh, importing the data from Excel file. And as you can see, I'm using um, a free version of smart sheets. And you know, if I go to this icon, this is a browser icon, and you can see there is workspaces, okay? So let's say I'm going to create a new workspace and it says, um, exercise okay so i just created new workspace and i'm going to store my files right here okay so i click that and then um before i import the data just wanted to show you the data pattern in your case it could be different okay but the, the procedure is going to be the same so i just downloaded some data um, of test slice stocks and you can see we have some column headers we have some data right here i have the same data mm, uh, same uh, data um, of Apple stocks, okay, and the pattern is same, okay. So you have the date, you have the close and open, and you have the volume, high and lows, all these things, okay. So let's get into smart sheets again. Uh, now let's import those two data files, okay. So you go there in your um, new workspace, okay, and you say import uh, from Microsoft Excel, okay, and then you go ahead and select the data, okay. So you select Apple first, okay, and then continue. And now it's going to give you some options. First thing is the primary column. So what's the definition of primary column? In smart sheets, uh, basically the primary column is the main descriptor. So all the data you see, it's kind of like revolves around this primary column, okay? So this is the most critical column and you know, kind of like it can be dates, it can be IDs, and, you know, this kind of, um, you have to define which one is the primary column, you know, whenever you are going to import the data from Excel file. So in this case, it's kind of kind of automatically selects the dates, okay? And you know, if you want to have something else, you can just select the primary column, okay? One thing you have to remember, you cannot delete uh, the primary column, okay? And I'm going to go into more detail into that. So, and then you have to, you have the options of like, you know, keeping the headers of the files. So remember we had date, close, then volume, open, you know? Uh, for your case, in your Excel file, for example, like, you know, if you do not want all these, you know, first few rows, you can just select right here, okay? It's going to import from there. Uh, in our case, since we want to import the header, just click, it, um, click there and then import the data, okay? And now let's import the Tesla data as well. So you go there, then select, then the Tesla automatically creates the name, okay? You can see, and you know, it by default, it is the date column, and then you want to have all the column headers, okay? So you import that, okay? So I have two sets of data. One is from Excel files imported into um, smart sheets. Now let's open the data file. Okay. So here you can see I have the exact same data representation, right? So let's extend the column width a bit. Okay. Now what we can do here, we can shuffle the columns. Okay. For example, you have the close date, the close price, right? Now you want to keep this close price and open price side by side. So what you can do, just select this column and drag it right here. And you can see you can change or shuffle the columns. So for example, this is the primary column, remember? And you can change the location of the primary column as well. So let's drag it and drop it right here. Oops. Okay, you can change it. You can uh, hide this column as well. So let's say hide, okay? And then you can also unhide. So click on there and then unhide. So any columns you can see here, you can change it, you can hide it, you can unhide it. Only exception is the primary column, you cannot do um, you cannot delete this column, okay? So if you go, click on this column, okay? And then click right click, you can see this delete options is muted, okay? So you cannot delete this column, the primary column, but you cannot, you can change it. You can change the name, you can change the position, all these things, okay? You can hide it, okay? Uh, for example, we had date, right? The name of the column was date. Let's say date and I, I just changed the name, okay? So now what else you can do, okay? we um we can uh, link the data okay from other files so for example i have apple data here right and i have the volume of some some particular day we have the cell volume okay so you click right on this okay and insert column to the right and let's say i have another column volume and i want to get data from the tesla file okay so this is the apple volume right Let's rename this. So this is Apple. And I have another column created that is the, and we, we want to get the volume of 
Tesla prices. So remember, we had, let's save it and go back and we have the Tesla prices as well, right? And the data pattern is same. And you know, you see the volume column here. So I'm just going to show you how can we link one smart sheet to another one. So let's do that, okay? So in the Apple, open this one, okay? And here you have the Apple volumes, right? Now let's import the volumes from the Tesla file. So basically this is cross-linking, okay? So you are importing um, data from another uh, smart sheets, okay? So you click on that, then right click, and then you have the link. This, uh, you can see this, right? Link from cell or other sheets. So you go there and you will have the options right now. Okay, press this, right? Go the right there and select the volume, okay? So you are basically pointing out the volume column of Tesla. Okay, now you create this. And you can see this, this blue, arrows right here so basically this is representing like it is linked okay so you refresh it it should pop up sometimes you know it's kind of um, you don't see the values and you have to do a refresh um, so and you can see we have the Tesla values right here so this is the volumes I have imported from another sheet so you can link sheets in smart sheets okay or reference sheets okay <clears throat> now um, Several things we can also do, but I'm going to not going to go into more detail here. For example, um, I want to create another column. Okay, create column and then delta price name of the column. Okay, and basically what I want to do is like I want to see what is the price, uh, what is the difference from the open price and the close price. Okay, so what is the difference here? So you have this equation right here, and then you just fill rest of the cells and you can see it's automatically filled okay so basically um, here you can see click on this and you can see this is giving the difference of these two these two values okay same here you click on that you have the equation popped up you click on that and you see this uh, these are the cells are in use and you are basically taking a difference of these two values okay so you can do some simple maths right here you can add subtract you know we're going to go into more detail into how can we um, you know, uh, use some equations and, you know, get the values from another smart sheets, okay? And, you know, do some cross-linking, but that is kind of like more advanced stage, okay? So, <clears throat> you can see we have the prices right here, okay? So, let's create another column, okay? You go ahead, click, to, click on that, and then insert column to the right. Now, before we create a column, just wanted to show you some options, okay? You can have the column properties set as a text or number. That's what we are having right now, but you can... Uh, you know, have it as a date, drop down list, checkbox, you know, all these things. Let's try this checkbox. And in my next, lec um, next lecture, I'm going to go over all these column properties, okay? But for now, let's have a checkbox, okay? Okay, click on that. So you can see, oh, I need to rename this. So let's say rename this column as check price, okay? And you can also extend it this a bit. So basically, the positive values right here, I'm just going to check it, okay? So here, here, here 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 so you know i'm not so you can do a lot of other things okay so uh with the column properties so here we have the check mark you can as i mentioned you go there and edit column properties you can also have this as a favorites okay like this or as a flag okay like this so why do we need this uh this kind of selection you know sometimes we create report and we can this will be easy to filter out the data okay but not going to go into that right now um, in this lecture, just going to go over how can we create different uh, sheets, okay? There are, what are the ways of creating um, some uh, smart sheet files, okay? So this is one way, like you can export the data from Excel, okay? And I also showed you how to cross-link sheets. Now go to the browse and you, this is the folder we have, right? Let's say we want to create, rather than exporting um, data, we want to create a sheet by ourselves. So, and let's create on the grid and let's say stock. Okay, this is our new sheet. Okay, so you go there. One thing I forgot to mention is like there are different ways, uh, like different types of sheets, like the grid view you can have, you can have the grand view, which is like you, you require dates, okay, two, at least two dates, and then you can have the calendar view. You also need date for that. Okay, in general, the grid view is the one we use. Okay, so this is, I'm just showing you like another way of creating sheets. For example, um, I'm just creating this file stock and I want to get the data right from these two, Apple and Tesla stocks, okay? So this is a 
sheet I'm creating and just going to get the data from other sheets. Okay, so here, let's say change the name of the primary column. Uh, let's say, what is the rename? Rename date. Okay. And let's link it again. Let's say link the data from as the date is same in Apple and Deathly stop. I'm just going to um, import the data from one of these files. Okay. Okay, so you click on that and you probably have the data. Now in the second one, it kind of takes some time sometimes. Okay, so you have the date. Now let's say you want to create another column where you can say Apple um, volumes. Okay, this column Tesla volume. Okay. And here is, let's say, difference, okay? Now import the data from the Apple file. Go ahead, same procedure, link the data. And you just need the volume right here, okay? You go ahead and refresh, refresh right here, save it. Okay, you got the data. Then again, you want to get the volume from Tesla. Go ahead, link it, and then get the volume from Tesla, okay? So basically, you are getting the data from other sheets, okay? And you can kind of like, this is kind of a summary, or you can mix up things from multiple sheets and, you know, combine the data into one sheet, okay? And now, why the data is not popping up? Let's refresh it. Okay, so you have the data, now you can calculate the difference, let's say, and this is just like, you know, just for showing this is an exercise. Uh, so this is the difference, okay? So you click on that and you drop and drag right till here. You can see all the differences, okay? Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative, okay? So if you click on, you try to find a formula, you click on that number, you click on here and you can see these two cells are um, kind of using, we're using these two cells, okay? So this is another way to create a sheet from the data files from different uh, smart sheets, okay? Now I'm going to show you the third way. And this is like, if you go there in this uh, directory and just like on this blank white space right click and you can say browse from templates okay and you can see we have different templates right here different dashboard templates report templates you know not going to go into deep detail into that but you know you have different kind of like pre-built um, sheets okay so for example like uh, just going to get into this one let's see what we have here and uh, let's get familiar with the icons this is the dashboard icon you can see this circular one and uh, this blue one is the, uh, the sheet icon so we are working on sheet level right now and this is uh, these are the report icon okay these um, orange ones okay so go ahead and click on this so you click on this this blue icon right here okay and you can see this is a format like let's uh, full screen this now, you can just like, you know, copy this template, okay? Go ahead and you, let's hide this guy right here, okay? So, basically, you go there and you select up to this or up to, okay, this portion, you copy this, okay? Now, click on this plus button right here and you go right there in the exercise. And let's create a grid, okay, grid sheet. And let's rename this, let's say, uh, from templates. Now we have different templates already built in there and you, you have to find out like, you know, uh, what data or what format of data you want to store. Um, you know, you can just browse those and find a, you know, like that, that matches the work you are going to do, okay. So right now I have this guy right here, copy this, okay, and you paste it here. Now, if I right click, you will not see the paste option. Okay. What you need to do is control V. Okay. Control V and you will get the data. Okay. So this is a pre-built format we have. Okay. You see, you can notice like the column names are not, um, we have the column names here, yeah, but here we just have the data copied. Okay. So I would say like, you know, you can just browse through different templates if you have time and, you know, try to find out 